Good evening, everyone. This is Bremster in the middle of a marathon session of recording puzzles for um, uh, the Sudoku U series. I'm trying to get enough puzzles in that I can deal with some stuff that I need to deal with. Um, it's really rough for me at the moment. So what is the Sudoku U series? They're puzzles created by the puzzles... Oh, Pardon me. The Puzzles and Paradoxes class by Full Deck and Missing a Few Clards, and the students enrolled in that class. Um, and the there's been a volume of puzzles from this class released so far already called Signet Sudoku Volume 1. I'll provide a link to that below. Um, this puzzle is not from that. Um, this is a puzzle that is newer than that book. So um, if you're looking for this puzzle in that book, you won't find it. Um, this will probably be in volume two. And this puzzle is called Don't Fall by Chaos. And it uses some tricky rules. So these puzzles that were sent to me were supposed to be coffee break puzzles from the book. So far, they've been harder than that. So, And this one is using a rule that I'm not very good at. So we'll see whether that trend continues. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy to have these puzzles sent through to me. I, I really adore them um, when, when I can solve them. Um, and yeah, really, really good fun. So um, I hope you're enjoying the fact that I'm bringing them and I hope you've in, uh, enjoyed the Signet Sudoku Volume 1. As I said, check it out if you haven't. It's really good. Um, I, there's a link below where... Um, I, Check out the collections page on my um, free Patreon. So yes, I have a Patreon. You can pay for it, but it is also available for free. But on there, which you don't even need to sign up for, there is a collections page where I have a whole bunch of stuff, uh, of puzzle packs, um, where you can go through and you can read the blurbs of the puzzle packs and download the puzzle packs. Available for everyone for free. So check that out. But let's have a look at Don't Fall by Chaos. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column the digits one to nine must be placed without repeti repetition we have anti-knight what does anti-knight mean it means that cells that are a chess knights move apart may not contain the same digit and if you haven't watched queen's gambit recently like i have um, then what that means is cells that are separated by this shape cannot contain the same digit so for example those two cells here you can draw that shape between them it doesn't matter the orientation or the rotation so that shape can be drawn between those cells, so they can't contain the same digit. Those two cells, you can draw the shape between them, so they can't contain the same digit. Those two cells, I can draw that shape between them, so they can't contain the same digit. That's what anti-knight means. We then have XV, whoops, I'll just restart, doesn't matter. XV, um, it's actually XV pairs. Cells that are separated by an X must sum to 10. Cells that are separated by a V must sum to five. Not all Xs and Vs or not all sums are given. So it's perfectly fine for those to sum to 5, or those to sum to 10, or those to sum to 5. So it's actually XV pairs. Then we've got the skyscrapers clue. So let's explain skyscrapers. I'll use this column to do it. Let's write some digits in. So 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 2, 5, 6, actually let's make this 9, 6, 5. That'll do. So each of these clues is a skyscraper whose height is of the digit in the cell. Taller skyscrapers obscure the view of smaller ones, and clues outside the grid tell how many skyscrapers are visible looking across the row or column from the direction of the clue. So, if we were looking down, and I'm quite dehydrated, so I'm going to have some water. If we were looking down, we would be able to see the one, we would be able to see the three, we would be able to see the four, we'd be able to see the seven, because seven is higher, we'd be able to see the eight, we wouldn't see the two, the two is hidden behind the eight, it's smaller than it and we couldn't see it, we would be able to see the nine, and the six and the five would be obscured, so this would be a six clue. If we were looking up, and this is probably a bad example, we would see the five, we would see the six, we would see the nine, and then all of these clues would be obscured behind because nine is blocking the view of all of these. So, um, and this would be a three clue at the bottom. So that's how they work. That's all of the rules. So I have restarted the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this is going to be one, two, three, or four. Um, 
because they're the only ways to make up a V clue are one, four, or two, three. The only way to make up an X clue is with a low digit and a high digit. If you use two high digits, you're too high. Two low digits, you're not high enough, and you can't put a five on an X clue, or you need two fives. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine. By Knight's move, this isn't six, so this isn't four. So this isn't four, so this isn't one. Seven, eight, nine means this is one, two, three. That's probably not helpful. This V clue is also one, two, three, or four, and that's going to matter for this eight clue, because now, wherever I put nine in this row, everything behind it is going to be obscured. That's an important fact about skyscraper clues. Wherever the nine goes, everything beyond it is obscured. And I need to see eight cells. So if I put the nine here, I won't see all of those, and this would be a five clue. If I put it here, I won't see any of those, this would be a six. But I have to see eight clues. So unless the, the nine has to be in one of those two, and I can't put it there. So this is the nine, and I have to see all of those clues. So wherever I put the eight is going to obscure everything behind it. If I put the eight here, I wouldn't see either of those. This has to be the eight. If I put the seven here, I wouldn't see both of those. This has to be the seven. If I put the six here, I wouldn't put see both of those. This has to be the six. If I put the five here, th this has to be the five. Now, this is where things get interesting because I'm down to this value. If this is the four, this is the one, and then whatever is here would obscure both of those clues. So this can't be the four. So this is three, two, or one. But if this is one, this is four, and both of those would be obscured. So this isn't one. This is two, three. This is one, four. But if this is four, these wouldn't be seen. So this is one. This is four. This is one. And I have to see these. So these are two and three. Right. That's cool. And this eight clue is now done. That's very, whoops, wrong mode. Th that's very cool. Now, this three C is there. So that's not three. That's not two. So that's not eight. And that's not two. This clue here, you must, as I've already explained, you must have a low digit on an X clue. So this is four, six. This six C's here. So that's the four and that's the six. The four looks across making that the two. So that's the three, that's the seven, and that's the three. Six is over here now. Don't think that's it. Two is in one of those two. Oh, this is just a two, three pair. That is a two, three pair. So these, well, this is just a one. There's roping here. So this is 4, 8, 9. These are 8 and 9. And these are 5 and 7. So these are 5, 6, 7. This 7 says 7 is not there. Six is in one of those two. So this cell is not seen. This one definitely is. This three makes that the two and that the three. If that was the nine, if that was the nine, this would be a one clue because it would stop and all of these wouldn't be seen. This has to be the eight. This has to be the nine. That means that is not the nine. <coughs> By night's move. Sorry about that. I need to see seven clues up here. Well, if this is the eight, if this was an eight, I could see all of those and then I could see one past it because I could only see the nine. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this can't be the eight. That's the four. Four comes out of those. Now I need to see, see, see seven clues, but I'm already not seeing those. So I have to see all of those. Why is that yellow? I have to see all of those clues, which means this has to be eight, this has to be nine. These now have to be in order, and the three clues I don't have are one, two, and five. So these are one, two, and five. Two goes with an eight. That's very cool. That's beautiful usage of skyscrapers. So the two clue is done, the eight clue is done, the seven clue is done. The eight makes this nine and this eight. Nine is in one of those, but it can't be there. So nine is in one of those two. Seven is not there or there. That's just a seven. What is this triple or quadruple? One, two, three, four, six, nine. 
There's no three in any of those. So that's the three. This is four, six, nine. There's no nine there. There's no six there. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two and five. And these are one, four, six. And there's no six there. There's no one there. There's no four there. That's the six. And this is a one, four pair. Okay. So, what more anti-night shenanigans can I do? There's no one in any of those. That one sees that cell and that cell, and that one sees that cell. This is a one. Which puts one in one of those two, which means that can't be a one. Because if that was a one, it sees that by normal move, so that's the four and that's the one. That sees that by normal move and that by night's move, so that's the one. One is in one of... One in this box, so is in one of these three by Sudoku. That one sees that one, that one sees that one. So this is a this is a one, which puts one in one of these two by Sudoku. Not seeing how to resolve that. Okay, two is not in any of those, and that two sees both of those. So two is in one of those two. Three is not in any of those or there. So three is in one of those. Well, this four sees both of those now. And four can't be in those or there. So four is in one of those two, which puts four down here. So this cell can't have two, can't have three, can't have four, can't have one. It can have five, it can't have six, it can't have seven, it can't have eight. This is five or nine only. Oh, this four, that can't be a four, that's a six. This is a four nine pair. If this is a nine, these have to increase to it. If it's a four, I could just put something a little bit higher than it and then jump to the seven or something. I've got some options. Four is not there. It's not there because that sees both of those. It's not there. Three is not in any of those. Two's not there or there or there. Two is in one of those three. So these two are seen by that. That two sees those and there. So two is in one of those. So two is in one of those two, but that two sees that cell and that becomes a two, which takes two out of there and makes that a two which puts, makes this a one-two pair. Which didn't do as much as I thought. So these are four, seven, eight, nine for the row. This can't be seven or nine because of the seven and the nine looking at them. This can't be seven or nine. So that's a four, eight pair, taking four, eight out of those. This becomes a seven, nine pair. Oh, I was wishing. This can't be a nine, because if this is a nine, this four clue would need to increase to it. It'd have to be seen, be seen, be seen, be, and then that would end there. But that would mean this has to be a one, and it's not. So this isn't a nine, that's the four, that's the nine. That means this isn't the four. So how is this going to work? Because nine is now over here. 
Nine is in one of those two cells. Nine is not in here or in here or in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two cells. Hang on, that's not a nine. That's a five now. So five is in one of those two, which is going to block those from being seen. So this could, for example, go from five, seven, eight, nine, and that would be fine. Or it could go six, seven, eight, nine. There's options. Maybe it's this three clue, because the nine is going to be seen. The nine is going to be seen. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. These are four, five, seven, and eight. There's no eight there. There's no, f oh, with five in this column. That's the five, that's the seven. These are just four, seven, and eight. There's no four, seven there. That's the eight, that's the four, that's the seven. Aha. So these are three, six, nine. So this is three, nine. This is three, six, nine, and this is three, six. And I need to see four digits along here. These are three, five, six. So the nine is over here. Yeah, these are three, five, six. I have to see the seven and the eight. And then the nine. So those are both going to be seen. The five or the six here is going to block these. These are not going to be seen. That's not going to be seen because whatever that is, is going to block that. I'm going to see the nine. I'm not going to see the three or the six. So I'm seeing one, two, three. I have to see one of these. If this is five, six, I'm in trouble. So if this is three, nine, this is six. But this could go five, three, and then I could put six, nine. So I've still got options. Which is a little infuriating. What are these? One, two, three, four, six. Oh, these are three, four, six and must contain a four. That's just an eight. Which puts eight up here with the two, but the eight isn't in the middle. Is there knight's move I'm missing? That's not a six. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. These are three, seven, eight, nine. There's no three or seven there. This is eight or nine. There's no eight there. There's no nine there. They've really ramped up the difficulty on these puzzles. Either that or I am just dumb. I'll take it that I'm just dumb. Four is in one of these two, because these are four, five, six, seven. So this is a four or a five. This, right, right, right. These are four, five, six, seven. 
So these four cells are four, five, six, seven, but that cell sees all of those. So that's the four, that's the five. There's no five there. This is a six, seven pair. Does that do more? Yeah, it takes four out of there and puts four there. So this now, if these were seen, it would be one, two, three, four. So these can't, yeah, it's that, that, and that. They're the only cells that can be seen because this is going to obscure those and that is going to obscure those. So those have to be seen. So this is six, this is seven, and there's no seven there. And the three clue is now done. To almost no effect. Where is seven in this box? Seven is in one of those two. Which means that's not seven. Seven is right there. Because that seven knocks it out of there. So there's a five in one of those two? So these are three, five, eight, nine. So this is 359, and this is 359. What I haven't figured out is this, because this could still go 6, 7, 8, 9, or it could go 5, 3. But this can't be a 3 because then this would be a five and all those would be seen. So there's no three there. This is a five or a six. Give me a five, six pair. So there's no six there. So if... there's no six there. This was never a six. Why did I have six not there? I had six pencil markers not being able to be here, and I don't know why. I don't trust... I had six having to be in one of those two. Six couldn't be there, but why couldn't six be there? Why couldn't six be there? And now I'm worried I used that pencil mark for something else. How did I get that pencil mark? Only one of these could be seen. That's five, that's three, if that's six, that's either. Why did I have a six pencil marked in up to only those two cells? That has to have been wrong. Why did I have six pencil marked into only those two cells? I can't see any reason for it. So this is one or nine, and this is two, eight or nine. This has got me stumped. What are the... <sighs> 
two, I'm looking at row two now. One, two, three, five, nine. So these are two, three, or nine. There's no two there. So I'm just looking for the knight's move I've missed. I don't understand how these have been... Like every one of these puzzles feels like it hasn't gone through elegance testing. Ah, oh, this four makes that the three, which makes that the five, which makes that the six. So it's six, seven, eight, and one of those is a nine. The six looks up making that the five and that the six. Nope, this was fine. It's just my brain. That's no six or three here. That's the four. The three looks across making that the six, which means this is a three, nine pair, which is all fine. Okay, let's refocus and try and figure out because it, it these have just felt weird three is now in one of those three is now up here that's a three because three can't go in either of those so there's no three here so this is one one or seven only because it can't be nine This five looks in making that the two and that the five. The two makes that the nine, which makes that the seven and that the nine. I don't know how long that had been there. Probably a very long time. The seven takes seven out of there, making that the seven. There's no nine here. This is the one. This is a two eight pair. Okay. What's looking in on this? Nothing. So it has to come from somewhere else. This one makes this the two and this the one, which looks back making this the eight and this the two, which looks back making this the nine, taking nine out of both of those. That's a three, five, so that's the eight. The three makes that the five and that the three, which looks down making this the nine and this the three. That is the solution to the puzzle. 23, 15. Okay, so not too bad, but wow, I really missed the stuff going on down here, particularly that. That, that was just dumb of me. That was really, really dumb of me. And then I that five looking at that as well. Knight's move. It's really hard to see, although that wasn't Knight's move. That was Sudoku. <laughs> wow. I think I got bogged down on the skyscrapers. The skyscraper opening to this was really elegant. And then I just got lost. Really like the stuff going on with the skyscrapers. Skyscrapers are hard to do well. So absolute, whoops, no. That's not what I'm... I, I was trying to delete the colors. No, don't, don't do... Hmm. Um, skyscrapers are hard to do well, so really nice work on that one. That was, that was cool. I think I'm just tired. I think even though it may mean I'm going to have a lot of trouble recording all of these, I'm going to have to take a break and go to bed. Thank you. It's very early in the morning, um, as in the wrong side of the morning. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I hope you are enjoying um, the puzzles, um, probably more than myself. That's fine. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.